What's up millennials? I might add a company to my long-term portfolio, which doesn't happen very often. I had this company on my watch list for a while now, for a few months probably, but now I might start a position. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why that is. Because today we're going to talk about the company's STEM, its current valuation and the technical analysis. Let's do it. A few months ago, I released an interview with Gonzalo, who is a PhD student from Portugal. And this guy knows a lot about the green economy. If you haven't checked out this interview just yet, please check it out. Because we talked a lot about the sustainable development goals. We talked about the climate agreements. We talked also about distributed energy. And that is definitely what STEM is all about. And that is exactly what STEM is focusing on, the distributed energy space. And it's also using artificial intelligence to make the energy usage more efficient over time by predicting when a lot of energy is needed and when it's actually not. STEM could be a very nice addition to my portfolio because it is a very pure energy storage play, uh, which I don't have just yet and very much. I do have Tesla, of course, I do have EV charging stocks, but yeah, STEM could be a very nice addition to that. Because the thing is, STEM is also the first public company when it comes to smart energy storage. And I very much like first movers and leaders in certain small niches. Because STEM is a nice combination of an energy play plus artificial intelligence plus distributed systems and who knows maybe crypto mining at some point. And as you might know, I already did a valuation video for this company, which was a SPAC, of course, under the ticker symbol STPK. And when I did this video, this stock was trading at $35. Now it has dropped to almost $24, more or less. And as you can see from the video that I made back then in January 2021, of course, this that was definitely on the high end of the range of valuations, which I presented according to the investor presentation of STEM of STPK. Now, again, as I said, today we see a drop to about $24, which is definitely on the lower end of the range of valuations that I presented in that video. If we take a look at the chart, which we're going to analyze a little bit later on in this video, then we can see that it's currently pre-market trading at $23.76. And if you multiply that by the amount of outstanding shares, which right now is 135.4 million shares, then you're going to arrive at a market cap of a little bit more than $3.2 billion. And if we look at the revenue of STEM, we can see that in 2020, they had about $33 million in revenue. And this year in 2021, they expect to scale that all the way up to $147 million in revenue, which of course is a big increase of more than 4x. Now you might think this is actually very difficult to achieve a 4x of revenue. But if you go to the updated investor presentation of back in January, we can see that they already have a contracted backlog of $200 million worth in revenue with 100 182 projects. So the revenue goal of 2021 is already locked in and they're likely even going to overperform this year. So that is pretty impressive. Now do keep in mind for the upcoming earnings calls of STEM that they do have revenue seasonality. So that basically means that in Q1, they just are going to release about uh, yeah, five to 10% of the revenue, but that is going to scale up in the next coming quarters. So in Q4 of 2021, the majority of the revenue is going to come in. So with a market cap of $3.2 billion and with a revenue of $147 million, the price to sales ratio is more or less 22, which right now maybe is not very cheap. But if you take into account the rapid growth of STEM in the next coming years, then I think that this company is going to grow into its valuation very quickly. And as Jakob mentioned in one of the previous videos about STPK, we can see that there are multiple institutions who are giving STEM a pretty good price tag. Citron Research gave STEM a $100 price tag by 20 2025, over $100 even, and Great Plains Investment Research, they said that STEM could double this year in 2021. Now, if we go back into the charts and do some technical analysis on the STEM chart right now, on the STEM stock, we can see that we are trading within a descending triangle actually right now. We are trading between the support box more or less between $22 and $24 more or less. And we can see that a lot of price action is held up above that support level. And at the same time, we are making lower lows over time. So we are lower highs, of course, over time. We had a high over here back in February. Then we had a lower high in the beginning of March, a lower 
high in the beginning of April and now a lower high at the end of April too. So let's see if this descending triangle is going to continue and if it's going to break out at some point because it does have to break out at some point. Now if it would break out to the upside then let's actually make a nice little target for that. Usually what you do is you take the descending triangle from the top to the bottom then you place that on the top of the uh, breakout and then you would see that the breakout would have a target of almost $40 if it breaks to the upside. Now if it breaks to the downside which honestly in my opinion is quite unlikely we could have a target all the way back down to $10.50 but again in my opinion that's very very unlikely mainly because of the valuation kicking in then. Also, if we take a look at the Fibonacci retracement, for example, when we take that from the top until the bottom, we can see that the 0.618 level, which often is a very important level in the Fibonacci retracement, is very close to that $40 level too. So I do think that $40 level is going to be a major piece of resistance at some point in the future. Now, do keep in mind the effect of the merger, because what often happens after a SPAC merger is that the stock decreases in value over time. Now, of course, with the STEM stock, we have seen already a pretty big decrease from the all-time highs at $50 more or less. So yeah, that might change the situation a little bit. I'm just going to keep my eye on this. If we then take into account a few indicators, we can see that the price action currently is tra still trading below the 55 exponential moving average. We can also see if we go to the RSI that it is a little bit flip-flopping around, a little bit neutral in my opinion. And also if you go to the MACD, it seems pretty neutral right now too. So what I would think is that we still could go a little bit further sideways within that triangle, but at some point we will need to break out of this descending triangle. And of course, if that is breaking to the upside, I would target a move to $40 more or less. If it's breaking to the downside, I don't think we're going to go all the way to $10.50, but we might go to some point uh, around here, which is the previous support level of around $17.50. And by the way, if you're a beginner in technical analysis and you also want to learn how to read charts like me, check out nisami.com slash TA. So what is my plan right now for the STEM stock? Well, the thing is, the valuation is becoming more and more attractive right now because it is on the low side of the range of valuations that I provided in the previous valuation video. And with regards to technical analysis, it seems to be a little bit more neutral at this moment. The effect of the merger could definitely lead to a little bit more downside in the next coming weeks, more or less. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going Going to wait but I might start a position relatively soon and increase my position over time. So I'm very much looking forward to hearing from you as well. Do you think STEM is a buy right now or are you waiting too? Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!